Felix, do you need 15 seconds? Or or what? Uh, 15 will work. Okay, I'm, I'll, I'll set up at 20 then. Tires are the best. Don't, don't start. Yeah, I uh, just... No, mind you, it's gonna be some slight padding because I have all my Ninky ready. Uh, Usually I won't, but... I mean, friggin' my padding DPA damage, basically my dungeon damage as a... Okay, oh, well, right. I just realized we're at the party. Wanna go to the very end. Okay, hold on. So I guess we'll go where they wanna go. Is that popping up? No, it's not. Hold on. Don't do anything. Wait for it. So... Oh, come on. Do you know how to bring up your map? Uh, there we go. That I can't. Unfortunately, I cannot help you with keybinds because I'm playing this oh, with a controller. Yeah, I am too. Oh, okay. Well, then it's up on the D-pad. Okay. Yeah, we can jump out. Behind that rock. Okay. Yeah. If you get the chance, check out my uh, glider. Because I don't have a glider anymore. If you get a win, your glider turns into like a Mary Poppins umbrella. It's fucking amazing. Nice. <laughs> it's the greatest thing ever. Just Mary Poppins your ass right at the battle. <laughs> yeah, just pan your camera up to the left, up to the right of it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you have bad news here, you may have to start it over again. But, what? currently you're at 4.1. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm just that. concerned that's skewed, because I apparently have a 5 second window here that I have been fucking around with, so... Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it resets after 5 seconds, so it's kinda like, oh, well this is dumb, we're gonna have to do this again. Fun fact, you have to find, if you land find on... weapons, I see. Right? Yeah, if you land on the roof, Logan, you can just, like... Check the next house. I need to run away from the dummy. There's a shotgun in here. Next house over. Oh wow, those other guys landed far away from us. Well, I won't have my uh, Ninky gauge fully uh, yeah. full this time because. Uh, there's some shotgun shells. Alright, I got I think that was like a 9k or some shit. Thank you. You remember how I was telling you I was pulling 4.5 on Red Mage? If I cheese it and have full mana when I do it, I go all the way up to like 5.4. Yeah, that's... Where's that well, I told you, I, I did say it was gonna be some penny because I have full Ninky immediately, but this time I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, let's see what you can do with the CD20.
through there. How fast does it close in? Uh, when the first one's... You have a minute left! left. We'll three minutes once, the, <laughs> once it starts. We have plenty of time. <laughs> and the first one only does, like, every, like, one or two damage every tick, so... Yeah. It starts off with one, and then each time the circle closes in more, uh, it'll go up to two, and then ultimately go up to five. that blue thing? Yeah, grab the blue shield potion. Drink it. Oh, how do I... Okay. Just highlight it and then uh, use it. Three, two, one. That's like body armor. 3.919. Not bad for 323. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's good. Wait, what'd you like get that? for? You'll probably increase it by uh, getting, instead of using Riton, using the uh, Shuriken instead. Mm. Counts as slashing damage, so it gets buffed by the slashing debuff. Yeah, but it's a 120 potency difference between the two, so it wouldn't be that much. I don't know. I was told that's one of the ways you increase it. I don't know if it's true or not. Look into it in your own, I guess. It's also raining. Is it raining? No, it's not raining. I mean, before I used uh, Ten Tenchi Jin, I probably could have gotten it a, a touch more, but I waited for so long until I made sure uh, duality was off cooldown. But you know, that's still not bad for Animal 323. Uh, I don't know what's good though, so I can't get, I can't tell you. Well, I. I think, like, I think that friggin, I think the minimum you're supposed, to, you're supposed to be able to do for, like, Savage Raids is, like, 4k. So, I mean, you're literally right up on the cusp of it. Yeah. So, I'm so guessing I'm not... that if you're gonna, if you were gonna gauge your base off of that, then yeah. Crazy. I think Tarek's made a mention that everyone needs to be doing at least 4k damage for Savage Raid. Crouch is left bumper if you haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, because I still have so much that I can gear out, though, so... Plus, I have three accessories with vid access with okay, uh, vid, building, uh, materia, the so... See those guys building their turret? Uh, turret. Logan. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, I could, I could probably have yeah, pushed yeah. that to 4k if I did that a little bit better, but... You know, yeah, that's your opener was in the 5k's. So, fucking, like, that opener is just so really OP. I love that. Especially since I was able to get Bavakaka right in at the last second. Fucking 600 potency, I love it. We're gonna try to build and to rest their friend. Oh, that's something else I learned about Black Mage, by the way, and I didn't ever know this, but apparently there's no way to fit in the most powerful attacks of the Black Mage into Trick Attack window. Nice. But you can do it with, like everyone else, though. Makes me sad. <laughs> Cause I, I remember you and uh, Tarek trying to do that, and it just took so long for you to get up there. Yeah, it just, yeah, it's not worth it. And I think at one point, the longest he could do it, I think you are able to get like maybe one spell in. Shit, we have to keep moving. Yeah. Another one of those uh, games. That aspect is pretty brutal since you have to get that shit off immediately. It wouldn't be so bad if my buffs were longer. Here's something that's infuriating. All the new procs have like a 30 second timer, except for Black Mage procs, which are like 12 seconds. Hold up a bit just to make sure, just to see if these guys come with us. It needs a rework and something. Here, come here, take a look at this. I want you to see this. Come here. Right, give me one second. What are they doing? Oh yeah, here they come. I'm altering these prices, because I'm selling so much expensive shit right now. <laughs> Stop undercutting me, damn it. Let's see. Might as well. 
Can you not attack that? I don't know why. You're doing that. Somebody's shooting, Logan, watch out. Ashes. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, get back. I'll try to get back from here. Yep. Shot one. Alright, sorry about that. The retainers came back, and I figured I might as well see how many people undercut me on some stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at how we do this shenaniganry. Go right here, Garuda. Yeah, he does. I see him now. I'm trying to hit him. Another reason I love this game. There's rocket launchers and grenade launchers. It makes it so much more hectic. We get around. He's yeah. We we have time. I mean, when it when that minute's up. Oh shit! It's already closing. No, never mind. We don't have time. We do have to run. Fuck me. Currently at 5.1. Damn. By the way, <laughs> you want to know the real kicker for this stupid shenanigan, Rias? We'll make it. Mm. Look at my fucking weapon. Yeah, I saw you have a Zeus now. Haven't even gotten to the best part yet. Oh, for Bahamut. <laughs> Dude, speaking of Bahamut, Sven, what is your Red Mage's item level since I'm assuming you're going to be using that for, like, the hard stuff, since you can use that for hard stuff? Oh, shit, they made it nice. Very good. Okay, so that was 4.5k, and I fucked up so bad. Come here, Logan. Hold on. That can all, the, all that entirety of that rotation, no, once the 10th hits Riku, will be doable while moving. Don't use it yet, because that'll take you back up to 100. Bandages that part where I'm standing still and using friggin' Ruin 3? Ha! I can move while that happens! Hmm. The entire time it's happening! But like, what's your, uh, what's the item level on your red mage? Red mage is that. equal to my black mage. Which is, I don't know what it's exact though, that's just my bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Aw, oh, rip. Cause I was thinking like, it's gonna, it would be fun as hell to try to learn the, the unending coil together, but I guess you need a 340 item level to enter. We should start moving. Yeah, we really should. I mean, there's also the chance that you can just go in there oh, without the item level, so. Well, yeah, I mean, full party, they kind of nullify that whole thing, but, yeah. But yeah, I just dealt 4.5k damage with a summoner, and I'll be able to do that while dancing to Arya 2, uh, to Halicarnassus' bullshit. And on top of that, I have a 220 weapon, which means that my DPS can only go up. Once I get a 240 weapon, done. 240? Run to your there are 340 weapon. Uh, oh, and that's the other thing that actually fucking annoys the hell out of me. So every class in the game is stack, crit, and direct hit because they're huge damage increases, and they are. But because I'm black mage, I have to stack spell speed, direct hit, and crit, and you oh, apps, and there's a mandatory yeah, spell speed. Oh fuck! I'm getting shot at. Because you can't do any of the rotations without it. Castle like, life. Hill. Huh? The struggle to cast your life. 
Yeah, and except for 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 friggin' summoner, which doesn't have to do with deal with any of that shit. It's like, well, it's low spell speed. Who gives a fuck? Just create a crit and direct hit, because my dots crit and direct hit. There's just so many frustrations I have with Black Mage at the moment. I'm just kind of like, guy, I, I want it to be, I want it to be a half de, you know, even a half decent class. It, I I told Rin this. Black Mage right now is in the spot that White Mage was in. Uh, and that might be subject, uh, might be subject to change. Hoping it is. My hopes, and Mr. Happy's hopes, are that because Summoner has gone the way that it is, they're either going to nerf Summoner back into the ground, or they're going to, um... Oh god, there's a guy ...off the other two it. casters. Truth be told, Black Mage does not need a lot to make itself deal really good damage. Well, I mean, if if Mr. Happy is saying that he has concern about it, then I can definitely see them doing it. Since he's, like, when the he's number one person dude, that, when it comes to this game. I mean, like, did you, uh, you, you did, I don't know if you watched the vid, but did you, yeah, but did you hear his tone of voice when he asked when they were talking about Summoner? He's, every single thing that, about the Summoner update, he's like, why? Because people complain, Sven. <clears throat> well, I mean, like, he doesn't usually complain, that's the thing. Yeah, no. Well, I, th I think it's just a matter of you two think alike. Or you two have the same point of views with stuff, so... Well, I mean, okay, so like when he's asking why, he's asking why the go, why I was I was given a better version of uh, why Summer is getting a better version of uh, what's it called um, of triple than Black Mage. Why it's going to be it's getting potency increases. Why the hell devotion is now AOE balance on a summoner. Oh yeah, to give you a bit of background, Logan, Sven is has basically been forced to play musical casters in, in uh, Final Fantasy to keep up with meta. <laughs> yeah. He he leveled Black Mage and then he leveled Red Mage and then they fucked him again and now he's leveled now he's just leveled Summoner. No, Red Mage is fine. Red Mage is in a really good spot. Don't 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 don't. He's just uh, he he's going he's going Summoner because Summoner can do way more DPS than both Black Mage and Red Mage. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, more or less, Summoner is more of a pet project for me at the moment. It's, I, I mean, okay, so if it's as gloriously OP as it's looking it's going to be, I might switch just for the cheese of the fact. Because it means that I can just put in, like, as much effort as my Red Mage and deal, like, a K DPS higher than it. Because shenanigans. Um, like, seriously, like, straight up um. shenanigans. But, I mean, like, Red Mage is currently what I'm taking through stuff, because I actually like Red Mage. Like, Vercure is, like, one of my my big favorite things for Red Mage. But, I mean, like, yeah, I'm been forced to play musical casters pretty much, because I'm like, my Black Mage, the class that I really, really like, played all through Heaven's Ward, is... Played well, all through Rumbleborn. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> trash now. Like, like legit trash tier at the moment. I'm just like... Yeah, because for the raid for our current raid tier, there's a lot of mobility, and like Black Mage is like the anti-mobility class. Like it's basically turret class. Like you plant your feet and you fucking start doing DPS. But... Problem is, all the mechanics in the new in the new raids right now are oh, you didn't move out of this AOE, die. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's fucking. <laughs> And they're not even small AoEs either, where I could just like, you know, nudge myself out. Nope, you have to friggin' pop sprint in some cases to get out of them. It's Soviet it. Russia. Sprint pops you. Pretty much. But no, I mean, like, there's a couple of things I think they could do to Black Mage that would really make it a help a lot better. Um, first off, increasing, uh, this is something that Roth mentioned, increase Astral Fire and Umbral Ice to 15 seconds instead of the stupid 13 seconds bullcrap. Um, two, make the procs that we get 30 seconds like every other proc in the game. So that we can store procs and not, and not have to be like, oh hell, well you're fucked. Well, they've already got Bart doesn't have, Bart doesn't have procs, procs like that. I, I wish they had a Red proc Mage has like proc. That. For a Red Mage and Summoner, both have procs like that. Fuck him, Logan. Let's just go to where I set a marker. Let's go with duos. Bart doesn't. Let me, let me see if I can get a proc. 
Uh, I put the, no, I put the one, like, That's a north straight north. shot proc. Fucking butt end. Yeah, it only, it's only 10 seconds, though. Right, but it's an instant cast, not a cast bar, and you can, you're pretty much, in, in, well, in it, it, use it immediately. Well, well, yeah, that's true. Even you don't need it to even move. In, even in, even in Heaven's Word, the proc itself was an instant cast. And I mean, hell, would you like to, would you like to, uh, to know that, uh, Red Mage also has a similar proc system with dual cast, it's only 12 seconds long, but that's every other spell. And then on top of all of that, you know, like, Black Mage procs either up. fuck up your rotation because they may, they lengthen or shorten it based off whether you have procs or not, or yeah. what they're supposed to be used for is for movement because they're instant cast, right? You use them so that you can move. If I had reli if I if I had reliable procs, being able to move around would be great, but I don't because they have a twelve second timer on the fucker and if I don't use them pretty much immediately, it's a DPS loss. Or more appropriately, I can't move. I can't really be like, oh I'm gonna save this thing for like twenty or so seconds so that I can move with it, you know? Yeah. The thing that Roth was making note of is like make it so that you can store multiple procs for like thundercloud and fire starter because then you could be like oh i need to i need to move it's like a 30 second like buff but you can start like up to three. Oh, i need to move here i pop this i've moved yay there we go back to the rotation or yay i can, you know, uh, I, can I can i can see them i, I could see that being a lot more useful i i could i could see them doing that because i mean being able to store procs would be like heavenly for movement it would mean that you'd still require you know intelligence to play the class, but you could be like, oh, I don't have any movement here, why don't I save these procs and use them if I have movement? Granted, you'll always have people who say that you should use the attacks on cooldown, but then you can get people who are like, but no, that's one of those things where like, where you're weighing GCDs, because um, fire starter procs uh, you use to extend actual fire, but Thunderclap procs are only a, a DPS gain over a fire four when they get to tick half their amount. That's it. So spamming Thunderclap procs is actually not a good idea, and instead saving them so you can move would be glorious. And the last thing, this is something that I think they should have implemented like fucking ages ago, especially when they did it in PvP. When you are in Astral Fire and you cast Blizzard 3, it should be an instant cast, and vice versa. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Because the big problem that Black Mages had for a while, Riku, was mana tick. If you don't have the perfect mana tick, you get fucked. But if you had instant cast, like, I noticed this. It's kind of stupid. If you are using the cast bar to go into, like, Astra, to switch, you know, your different, like, buff states, the tick does not start until the end of the spell. Here. When it goes off, yeah. while well, as if it was instant, you would instantly be in the in, in your oh, uh, in, in, in umbral ice, weapon, and then the tick so. by the time the GCD goes through, the tick has uh, has come, and you have mana. Dude, rip the hell out of my dragon skill speed! No wonder I'm attacking so slow. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, cool. So I found a purple sniper. Nice. I have a whole 690 skill speed on this class, that's fucking atrocious. Oh yeah, I, I'm sure you've noticed that already, but weapons have rarity in this game, so like, grey, green, blue, purple, gold. I actually didn't notice that until you said that. Yeah. Dude, so, fucking gold weapons, my god. Yeah, they destroy. Um, well, Tar I just, I still hate Tarek for the fact that he's just the lucky one into finding all this fucking shit, I hate it. The gold. Yeah, I found, like, that, that tower that I found is really good. There was four chests going down it, and I just got three shield potions, so I got myself up to full shields, got Logan up to half, found a purple sniper. Damn, dude. Found, like, is this the place you checked? Yeah, this place is empty now. This okay. is where I landed. Yeah, I found a bunch of guns. Got everything. SMG, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I can, uh... Board. You can see where the class is just kind of like, why, you know? Yeah, I, I could definitely see them implementing that and storing procs there for black. Doesn't, I don't it, like, I see there there's... doesn't need to be much done for it. And, you know, uh, the, if they're worried about damage, people. which, truth be told, Black Mage and Samurai should be leagues above everyone else in damage if they're not going to have any utility at all. 
Um, but I mean, even like a moderate 20 point potency increase would be like, oh yay, extra damage. So that, you know, when you are forced to stay still and you do your damage, you're like, oh hey, you know, I calculated this out and now I'm able to do lots of damage. Congratulations. The, 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 the effort was worth the reward as opposed to right now where it's not at all. Yeah. I can't decide which I hate more, dots or cast bars. That's the other thing. They want us to deal less damage than a samurai because apparently, because you know, a samurai is supposed to be more dangerous to play AOE wise. But as Roth was pointing out, that's not the case when you're putting take cast bars into consideration. No, I have to stand still for three seconds and wait for an AOE to come underneath me. Then I have to break out of that, and not cast my ability because cast bar, or get hit with huge AOE. Sounds like um, sounds like you should go bard. And or it sounds samurai. like we should just go summoner with all this friggin' like instant cast bullshits. Well, uh, yeah, but for the most part, you still have cast bars to deal with. I'm just saying, for like no cast bars at all, for just for that aspect, it's like yeah, it sounds like you need to go bard. Yeah. Actually, actually, after this update, I don't think there'll be a single time where if you're doing the summoner rotation right, where you will use a cast bar. Really? Wow, that is kind of op then. Um, and here's the reason why. Um, like I said before, every time you're in Dreadworn Tramps, the time that you would normally have a cast bar for, quote-unquote, you are using Ruin 3, which will be instant cast at this point, which means you'll just run around and, you know, instant cast Ruin 3. The first part of this opener that I was doing, Riku, Riku where I was pulling, like, you know, 7k and shit, it has nothing but Ruin 2 spam. Ruin to span, and then you weave in friggin' like fester pain flares and friggin' uh, energy drains, hmm. so that you can get into uh, dreadworn trance as fast as you possibly can, and then you like murder fuck it with uh, like dots and like death flare, and then you do it again, and then the second time is when you start using ruin three, Wait, but then again that'll be instant be cast. The only other time where you would have that you could uh, that you would not use ruin two quote unquote um, in a large damage phase would be Bahamut. But here's the thing: using anything but ruin two in the Bahamut phase is a DPS loss because of this following note: every attack action you do while Bahamut is out causes Bahamut to do worm wave. Every right. single one of them. That includes off globals. Oh, okay, yeah, I can, okay, that, I can, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Time to start popping Heaven's Crackers. Actually, <laughs> Heaven's Crackers won't do it because they're no, considered, they're not it's considered an, an attack. Yeah, it's an item, I know. <laughs> but what you can do, Riku, is you I can... Can't, I can't believe Tarek use over a hundred fucking Heaven's Crackers. That's just... so great. <laughs> like, I so, don't even fucking know, like... like Hell, Riku, what you do is you start off that fight by using Ruin 2, which triggers a Worm Wave as he's being summoned, followed by Fester, which triggers off another Worm Wave. Then you fucking pop friggin' Enkindle Bahamut. Then you do uh, Ruin 2, Fester, Ruin 2, uh, Adol, Ruin 2, Fester, Ruin 2, um, Pet Action, or something like that. Then you do... Uh, oh no, Ruin, you do Ruin 2, then Try Disaster, then you do Ruin 2, Fester again, and then you pop friggin' a second in Kindle Bahamut. So you've got, like, friggin', like, twice the number of attacks than you would normally, extra attacks from Bahamut, and on top of all of that, you got two fucking Ockmorns out of it, and now you're immediately ready to go into your next Dreadworm Trance to spam Ruin 3 again. Again, all of this, no cast bars. There's usually not much in the maze if you want to hide in there and hold out. No cast easy, bars, but... no positionals required. Just run around and murder everything. We'll probably get lucky and be able to hide out here for a while. And they made no notion oh, of adjusting potencies. Somebody cleared it Those out. potencies might go up. <laughs> the downside? If you fuck up that rotation or you die, well, you fucked. Okay, your damage is fucked. So, you get what I'm saying here when I was saying that this is going to be completely Almost broken? No. So Ruin and Ruin 2 have the same potency. Ruin and Ruin 2 have the same potency, yep. And because I mean, you do... Here's a okay, kicker. That, that I did not know. 
here, here, here's a kicker for you. Did you know that, um, <clears throat> so even though Ruin 2 costs twice as much as Ruin 1, mana is not used anymore by Summoner. Well, it looks like you'll be, uh, raising your ass off then. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what it's used for. Like, we use Aetherflow stacks instead, and I'm just looking at it going like, the only time I start using mana, Riku, is when I, is when there's a part of the rotation where I hard, when I'm hard casting, uh, what was it, uh, Ruin 3 between, uh, between the time I use my second Dreadworm Trance and I summon Bahamut, because you have to get some time for Aetherflow to get back up so you can spam all that shit when Bahamut comes up. But even then, okay, so right now, if you spam Ru if you spam uh, Ruin 3, it costs 1,440 MP, which means that yeah. that's when you have to, you basically you pop Lucid Dreaming while you do that to offset it so that you don't tap. But here's the kicker. In the new... <laughs> Ruin 1 costs 240, right? If Ruin 1 becomes Ruin 3, there's a fat chance that Ruin 3 will cost 240 and deal 150 potency. Hmm. Which means you'll never run out of mana! Ever! Never, ever, 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 ever. So I'm sitting here looking at this class, Riku, I'm like, okay, it does near the same amount of damage a Black Mage does, right? Okay, there's the first thing. Summoner does deal about as much damage single target as Black Mage. In fact, it's a little bit ahead. The reason people don't use it is because currently if you die, you're fucked. And second, uh, it's complicated as fuck, okay? It's even more work than Black Mage, but it can get a little higher than Black Mage DPS-wise. Like with a book, I was at 4,500. I'm at 4,500 with a staff that's 340, not a book that's 320. And then they're going to so, put that? Yeah. So I'm going to be dealing more damage either way. Um, and then on top of that, make it so that I can literally, like, here, watch this opener again. Like, seriously. Ser watch, just watch this shit once I get it out. Hold on. This shit's ridiculous. Okay, ready? Ready? Watch this. That's a lot of flashy shenanigans going on. Flashy shenanigans. <laughs> I'm just watching it and it's like, there's not a second when there's not something flashy going on. Not from the freaking uh, spell animations. Oh, jeez. Now I have to stand still, but when the new summoner comes out, I won't have to stand still. Did you see how little I stayed still in the first, oh, 30 seconds of this rotation? Yeah, that's, uh... Fox standing still. <laughs> I didn't have to stand still for any of that, okay? The first 30 seconds of a Black Mage's rotation is Yo, arguably the most up. important part of the rotation, Riku. It's what gets most of my damage, and if I move oh. at all during it, I deal half my damage. Somebody's building a stair to the sky, Riku. <laughs> that stairway to heaven. Yeah. So yeah, you 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 get what Mr. Happy and I are getting at here. Like that's the first 39 seconds, and that's where it is currently. Now let's switch it Killed up. Ruin three oh is now. <laughs> Ruin three is now instant cast. Which at which point you're yeah, like, oh, that's, um, a little broken. Uh yeah, that's you took the words literally right out of my mouth. Um, like, legit. Little oh. little being absolutely sarcastic, of course, because that's broken as fuck. But you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I don't need to uh, stand still for anything anymore. Have fun with that. Even if they lower the potencies, it's still the idea of that, oh, I can move around. I'm a caster who can move around and just be like, fuck you. Oh, and that's the other thing. I have dots on the target, which means that even if I'm not attacking, I'm dealing some damage. Half yeah. of my damage is like in fucking dots, and another like, quarter of it's uh, in friggin' 
How Just much, spam. uh, how, how much, like, put your, put up your, well, just, uh, spam Tri Disaster on, on a dummy. I just want to see yeah, how much. Tri Disaster? Yeah, I just want to see, like, how much dots do. Did you see How much your dots do? Uh, throw, uh, throw Shadow Flare up, too. Those two what? Those two motherfuckers falling, did you see that? No. So, did you see so the two guys me. that were building that, like, bridge to the sky? It's about... Yep. I shot it out, and, like, if you shoot out people that, that are not connected, it will, like, destroy the other ones and That's there were like... two guys further up and I shot down one that was lower and it made both of them fall oh. to their death. Dude, all that plus Garuda, that's fucking like 6,500 damage. That's nice. Right there, there is around 16, 1.6k uh, DPS without me doing anything other than applying those fucking dots. Just, just dots, Garuda, and Shadow Flare. Oh, here's what I forgot to mention as well. The 200 potency Ruin 4, right, is going to be replacing oh, Ruin 2. Shooting. As an instant cast ability. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know if they're gonna adjust potencies. I would hope they adjust potencies for this bullshit. Fuck. I mean, we'll, I mean, we'll find out in a few days. Cause yeah, if they, a, don't, if they don't, if they don't, they'll put. Well, I'm saying, like, we'll find out, cause like in a few days, though, they should put up the preliminary patch notes. They are west 255. But yeah, you, you see, like compare that to what Black Mage can do, and then tell me that you know this uh, that that Black Mage yeah, is not. That's... Yeah, okay, I see full well what you're getting at. That's my one my one mobility option is shittier than than the basically is the primary DPS phase of the summoner, <laughs> and on top of that, it gets two extra casts in. Or it's maybe even more, because I just realized something here. Um, instant cast for um, for Black Mage at that point, it's, it's a 16 seconds, right? But instant cast for my Black Mage at that point is like 2.3 seconds. While as instant cast, it, it, basically in 15 seconds, Black Mage gets three spells off, okay? But the, the global for my summoner, the global for my summoner is... 2.34 seconds. Hold on. 16 divided by 2.34 means that I can get in a total of six of these fucking things. I can get in six attacks. So it's actually worse. Instead of a tri basically, I have a <laughs> for the same cooldown that triple has, I get double the number of instant cast abilities and the death flare at the end of it. Third place. Oh, that. That's during uh, Dreadworm. Yeah. Or during Bahamut. That's during Dreadworm, not Bahamut. That's Dreadworm Trance. That's not even Bahamut, which is arguably stronger. Bahamut comes out for 20 whole fucking seconds. But you're gonna need. I got work. That's well. about nine. Oh shit, man. But you have um, well. Ruin twos and any off globals well. in between there. Not so, nine to cover for times two, oh, if you're right. doing just well, minimum global, off that. globals at that point. If you could get yeah. two per anything like that, okay, that's now nine times three. Yeah, I'll be around tomorrow, I'm definitely... All while moving! Okay. Okay, have a good night, man. Wait, two. Peace. Yeah, that, all, all while doing the dance. Here, I'll do the gold dance for, for you. <laughs> I can do this, and do all of my attacks, my entire rotation, just doing this dance, and just, you know, I'd never be in AoEs, ever. There is something fundamentally wrong with this. Oh, all you, that like, movement, I should not be you, dealing that much damage. Yeah, but you fucking like it. You fucking love it to death. You know it. I mean, it's broken. I'm just sad because I liked my black mage, man. I liked it. I really did. Well, I, I worked hard for Kaladanda. I mean... There is always potential for changes later on for Black Mage, so it might it might get up there. They it, might still buff it. it still doesn't stop me from having to play musical casters. Yeah, but still, I mean, at, like it'll get above and then it'll be up there. So now, so to where you could probably think, "Ooh, what do I want to go as?" Not so much like, like you'll have to do that, 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 but but, but um um. Words, mind slipping. Uh, the other you'll be, able, you'll be able to choose what you want to go as, and just like equally do roughly around the same, maybe a couple hundred difference, but 
you know, I think the truth be told, the two that I'm going to be sticking with are Red Mage and Samurai, and Red Mage and Summoner for one reason. Yeah, Samurai Sven. Does Sven go with Samurai? Uh, no. Um, if I do, I'm going full-on Samurai. You won't even recognize me. Um, but, uh, like, I think I'm going to stick with Summoner and Red Mage because they share stat pools. Mm, like, yeah, yeah, take a look at this. Take yeah, oh, yeah, know. because you don't need fucking a shit. Spell, yeah, spell speed. Yeah, you don't need fucking spell speed. Watch this shit. Ready? Let's watch this shit. This, this, is, this is absolutely... I'm just, I'm just hoping for... Um, nuts. For gold saucer shit, because... Let me show you how, how much I can move around with this, too. Now, to an extent, I kind of know how much you can move as Red Mage. Which has been nice for avoiding AoEs. Ah, boy. Compared to my to my black mage, like, oh, look at all this movement I've got. Do 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 do. My DPS hasn't been affected at all. Uh, welcome back. Dude, Tom, I'm hoping more since we're a week off from 4.1 for gold saucer shit. This is getting stupid. <laughs> How much do you have now? 2.7 million. <laughs> Jesus. It's getting so dumb. I want to spend it on... I want to spend it on shit, but I don't want to spend it on useless shit. Yeah. I'm at 4.9, oh my god. Like, I'm sure they figured, oh, people are going to be buying those.